Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Jamie Flood, user Jamie F on Wikipedia. And I'm Kevin Piravi, user Superhamster on Wikipedia. And this is Paper Dominic. He could not be with us, but he was our, uh, he was the manager for creating View It. I was the community manager, and Kevin was our very talented programmer. Uh, special thank you to the Wikimedia Foundation and the Structured Data on Commons. Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> the Structured Data on Commons grant from the Sloan Foundation for funding uh, the creation of this tool. So my, part of the reason why we have, oh, <laughs> sorry. Part of the reason why we have 40 minutes today is my hope was that we could do some editing together. I realize it's a little difficult since we don't have like a table or anything, um, but hopefully you'll join us. Uh, installing Viewit is very easy. Uh, you can follow the installation instructions on Meta, which is where we document the creation of Viewit. Uh, the pictures, I, sorry, I meant to update them. View it looks a little different than some of the screenshots right now on there. We've changed it up a little bit and made it a little bit more functional. Uh, once you follow the installation instructions and apply it either in your home language Wikipedia or globally, uh, refresh the page and you should start to see it uh, with any page you look at. View it works across all Wikipedia, all Wikipedia projects, Wikidata, Wikivoyage, Wikisource, uh, Wiki species, Wikipedia itself, in every language. Um, on, in most languages, it will be in English, but there are some that have localized, and we'll get more into the nitty gritty of how many uh, later in our presentation. And then you can view it and add some images, and we'll talk more about functionality as we go. <laughs> sorry. So, oh. Oh, wait, oh, sorry, yeah. Oh. We'll leave it up for a second. Yeah, we have time. Sorry I talked. I will slow down talking and we'll leave this up for a moment so everyone can uh, follow the link. And the short link, if you want to access it, is w.wiki slash 9 capital E capital H lowercase p. That should take you straight to the meta page. And on the meta page, you'll see instructions to install both View It Lite and View It Full. Um, View It Full is usually what you want to install if you want the full experience. And full is what you'll see today as we go through this. Everyone good? Everyone had time to pull up the link? Are we good to go on? Yeah. So most of us know what Wikidata is. It's structured data for all entities and site links to connect all Wikimedia projects. That's part of how Viewit functions across all of Wikipedia. And just, <laughs> thank you. Uh, just as an example, here's uh, Wikidata uh, item for Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh. You'll see a lot of um, DPLA, Digital Public Library of America examples in here because Dominic, our manager, works with them. And the heart of our project <laughs> was uh, targeting cultural heritage institutions and encouraging discoverability of images using structured data. So what is structured data? That is depict statements that link on Wikimedia Commons to Wikidata. Uh, it's descriptive metadata that's often provided by the GLAMs and institutions that are uploading the images. Uh, anytime you upload an image, there's a tag that says, does it say, I don't remember what it says anymore. Yeah, it's on Commons, there's a tag. There we go. <laughs> I have a screenshot. Yeah. Uh, so there's a tab that says structured data beneath the image. And when you click that, you can see all the structured data for that image on Commons. Um, so the most standard um, property that you can append as part of structured data is depict. So essentially just what the image shows, whether it's a person, a building, a type of tree, an animal, et cetera. And then there's other sorts of structured data, like creator, which provides author information, copyright status, licensing. Um, if it's like an artwork, you can have like, a, like an artist property and things like that. Um, so basically just takes what was previously just plain text descriptions and puts them in a structured linked format. So structured data across Wikimedia uh, is 
you can media search SDC you, is used to enhance the search within commons. And they were subtracting uh, contracts to the community. They reached out to Dominic uh, to see if he had any ideas that utilized structured data and view it is what came out of that. Uh, Kevin is a very experienced programmer. I'm an coder. I'm a very experienced community manager. So my role was to reach out to the community for feedback. We did multiple rounds of testing and feedback sessions, fine tuning it, changing the size, changing the placement, changing what the button looked like, what it said, uh, and stuff like that. And then this is what, this is how the search changed through structured data on commons. So this image here is kind of the default search on commons right now. This isn't what we did. This is just what's available on commons. Um, so now when you go on commons and type anything in a search box, it'll actually use structured data to kind of pull up the most relevant photos. Um, so the goal was to ideate and develop a tool or gadget that experiments with using structured data or content to improve the search experience on one or more Wikipedias. This one does it on all. Um, we're very proud of that. Uh, it must be, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it must be search or discovery related. It must be, it must utilize structured metadata tags and it must involve at least one Wikipedia. And like I said, this one involves all of them. So, uh, another thing that I do in my work as a Wikimedian is I host a ton of editing events. And so that was kind of the heart of this, was how do we help new editors uh, find images more easily on Wikipedia and how do we utilize structured data? And additionally, how can we encourage institutions to use structured data? And so that was our kind of our hope with Viewit is that it would demonstrate why structured data matters on images uploaded to Commons, because now in Viewit, it's showing you more images. So it's a way to show editors and readers, because you can see Viewit at any time as long as you have it applied to your account, uh, relevant Wikimedia Commons, media depicting or otherwise related to the article they are working on. So in some cases, like for example, uh, I work at the National Agricultural Library, our view it shows you pictures of our building, pictures of collections, stuff like that. It all depends on how, what kind of metadata you've added. But as long as you're linking things back to your institution, they should be getting a good example of what your institution is about. Uh, and then, of course, the goal is to enrich content pages by offering an illustration of a given subject and increasing the discoverability of Commons uploads. Uh, <laughs> this tool, okay, sorry, I'm like, what's happening? Uh, this tool allows readers across uh, access to a full catalog of images available on Wikimedia Commons rather than being limited to the images chosen to be included in an article. For example, I have used View It a lot to up to swap out an image for the exact same one that's just higher resolution. So that's the great thing is as we improve scanning and um, make better available images of the same image, uh, we can upload higher resolutions. And I feel like we've already talked about most of this. And so this is what it looks like on Wikipedia. You'll see a carousel of images at the top. Uh, Elam Isham Shu is a uh, pomological watercolorist, and these are examples of what kind of view it will show you. It's not always just pictures of them. Sometimes if they're an artist, it's their artwork. Uh, like I said, if it's an institution, it might be stuff that they hold in their collection. And it's very easy. We to add an image from Viewit into an article. Once you're in the editing function, you can actually click the, uh, the copy tool and then scroll down into the article wherever you want this image to go and paste it in. And once it's pasted, it will give you the, it'll have an open box for you to add a description or whatever kind of um, caption you want. You hit enter, you save it, and there it is. Uh, and then another great functionality of Viewit is if you're on an item in Wikidata that doesn't have a P18 statement, 
view it will give you the opportunity to add it directly for you. So if you're in Wikidata and it doesn't have a P18 statement and you have view it installed, you'll either see the copy function or the plus sign. You can copy and paste in if you want to add additional images, but if you're adding a P18 statement for the first time and you hit the plus sign, it will give you a dialog box, making sure you want to add that statement. And then you have it. <laughs> yeah, so this is particularly useful because when you're on Wikidata, you don't really have easy context of like what images are available unless you really start digging into commons. So this just easily surfaces what's available on commons right there on Wikidata. <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, we also have View It available through a web browser. Uh, you can still, I don't think the copy, cop, <laughs> sorry, the copy functionality isn't as simple. You'll click on the image. If you use View It in a browser, it will take you to commons, and then you would add an image how you normally would. You would copy in the code and then add it. Uh, the great thing about view it in a web browser is you can surface images in slightly different ways. You can look at the categories that it might be in. I don't remember what all it is. Do you remember? Yeah, so um, basically with this portal we have, it's located at view-it.toolforge.org. Um, you can kind of put in a queue item. Um, and you can also, you can kind of either say you want images that depict that QID, or you can do things like um, created by or other types of properties. And you can also filter by assessment and resolution. So for example, if you want to filter by just featured images, or you want resolution over 1,000 pixels, those are kind of filters you can apply. Um, but yeah, now we're actually going to do some live demos. So I'm going to awkwardly head to the back of the room. <laughs> So during this section, we're going to share some of our use cases and some of the great feedback we got during our sessions around View It and training. Um, and give us just a second. And then we'll also actually show you how to use View It. This one is just, this part is just showing you what it looks like in uh, Wiki Voyage, Wiki Data, and stuff like that. And then we'll also actually add a couple P18 statements and an image together. Sorry for this awkward pause. I don't even remember how, why we were talking about. Oh, OK. So <laughs> the reason why we have the Sam Simmons <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry, example is the photograph that was of him on here was weird. It was very, um, it was pixelated if you tried to, uh, sorry, it was pixelated if you tried to, to zoom in on his face. It was very far away. It was just like very poor form for an image. And so when we have View It installed, we realized, oh, there's actually a bunch of pictures of San Simmons, and they're better than this one. <laughs> so we, I think, it, yeah, it was this one. Um, while funny, it's not like a great <laughs> info box picture. Uh, so we were able to swap it out for one that was more centered on his face. Yeah, the key thing here is we just have like the portrait and like one of the pictures from his show. Um, but you know, there's not a lot of space in this article for like the full gallery. So you can kind of get like more of a view of what his entire show is like through View It. Um, I think that's one of the things, too, that we talked a lot about, is whatever you see in an article, that's curated by whomever wrote it or whomever's edited it. And like we mentioned, it could be an older article, and they have an older image that's not that high of quality, and there's a better quality image available now, or there's other images of that person available now. Or it's like Sam Simmons, and it's oddly not a great portrait, and so you can swap it out for something better. And then here we're looking at uh, Columbus, which is a city in Georgia, United States. Um, you know, on most Wikidata items, you only have one image, right? So here we just have this skyline, which is, you know, not a very exciting image. But when you have View It installed, you actually get kind of the full breadth of images related to that city. So you have famous people from the city, you have different views, you have this cool picture of a train running through the middle of town, you have these historic images um, of the city as it developed. Um, 
Historical and, it, and modern. That's mm -hmm. the other great thing. And then when in view it, when there's lots of images available, you can click on this view all images. Let me zoom in a little bit so it's more visible. You can click on view all images and we'll actually kind of replace the entire interface with a full blown gallery. So you can kind of get that full um, breadth of images. Um, and you can also click on this link at the top to open that same query in our web portal. So you can get those same images. And then you can also do some of that filtering we mentioned as well. So you can say, I only want large images, for example. One thing to point out too, if you're like, I don't want a gallery at the top of every article, you can close view it and then just open it when you want to. Um, will you go back to, yeah. yeah. So in the top right close, here. In that same spot, it'll say open when it's closed. And it will remember what you chose. Mm -hmm. So once you've closed it, it will remain closed until you open it again. And then here we're going to look at some local buildings um, in Poland. Um, so this is an example of Viewit running on this Pantheon. Um, you can see this Wikidata item does not have an image, um, but there are images available on Commons. And this first picture here is, you know, a pretty quality photo of that building. So we can quickly just press this plus button, confirm, and it will immediately just add the image to the Wikidata item. Um, so we've had over 5,000 images um, added to Wikidata items through this tool um, because when you add an um, image through Viewit, it will actually have its own tag. So you can go through and see all the edits that have been done. Um, another example is this hotel. Again, no image on this Wikidata item. We can go ahead and click this plus sign. And that image gets added. And the cool thing about um, Wikidata is a lot of Wikipedia articles across all the languages will pull the image from Wikidata. So if there's you know 20 Wikipedia articles out there on this hotel um, and they don't have any images attached, when we attach this image on Wikidata, many of those Wikipedia articles will also start displaying that image. So it's a great way to enable media discovery. Um, yeah, go yes. ahead. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. When when using the the close view button and that is there is just open view, um, there is any chance that uh, can be a different color whether there are actual pictures or there are not matched pictures, so that one is more interested in opening it uh, or not. So if there's no images, the button is grayed out. Okay. Yeah. So if, if there's images, that button will be blue. And if there's no images, it'll be grayed Perfect. out. And if, uh, if you have it open, just the view button okay, will okay, also be gray. You. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do like the idea, though, maybe even like including a number, right? Yeah. So if it's like close, if it's like open view, you can maybe question. have the number of images available. I think that's a good idea. You probably already answered this question. But um, do these have to be linked already? So the images have to be linked to structured data initially yes, in order to be found? They do. Yeah. But if you know, if you go to a page and you know an image should be there, maybe that your institution has uploaded and you don't see it, if you go and uh, edit the structured data, it will show up almost immediately. Because okay. we've done some experiments and it, it shows up pretty instantaneously. Okay. Yeah. But that is a practical limit where. Yeah. Viewit's only as good as the structured data. So as structured data on commons improves, Viewit will as well. And then for the last demo, we'll actually show adding a image from Viewit to a Wikipedia article. Um, so this is the Spanish Wikipedia article for Cesar Chavez. Um, and you can see there's just one image in this article, um, but there are many images available on commons. Um, and one of the things we want to highlight is this arch memorial um, for Chavez, um, which I want to add to the article. So if I click on edit and go into visual editor, you can see there's now this copy link in the lower right part of this image. I can click on copy. Um, and then I can come on down to um, this section that kind of discusses ways that he's been honored. And I can paste. And you see you'll just immediately insert that image as a thumbnail with space for a caption. And we have a pre-written caption that I'll just go ahead and copy. 
I promise we double checked with a native speaker that this was correct. <laughs> yes. We just wanted to demonstrate that it's multilingual. <laughs> Go so ahead. paste that caption in. And that's already an SDC caption. Will that be already? Uh, it it doesn't pull it. I don't oh, think. So Sorry. Um, if if there is a caption already on SDC, will that be used? Was the question. <laughs> Kevin, it doesn't pre-populate, right? I don't think so. I think at the time we that's were developing it, it might have been a limitation of the API, but we yeah, should Yeah, that's a that. great point that we could implement, though. Yeah. So now we click Publish, and the image has been added. Yeah, go ahead. I would just like to add that maybe automatically pulling the caption is not such a good idea, because the caption can be very dependent on the context yeah. in which the photo or picture is placed in the article. Yeah, that's a great point. And I, thinking back, I believe that was part of why we didn't try too hard on that part is so often these images might have a really weird caption or it's just numbers and letters. Um, but that is a great thought that we could think about. But um, we'll see. Um, and we are open. If anyone has suggestions of something else you would like to see or operability, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I have a question about. Uh how do I uh, use it to prepare um, workshops and uh, editations uh, with people coming? How do I make? Uh, what do I, who, How do I make it quick for them? Uh, since they are not used to the Wikipedia ecosystem, sometimes uh, how do I make sure that uh, it's integrated very quickly uh, when sometimes I just created their account? Right. The event. So you can add this at any time to your account. And usually when I uh, offer it at workshops, that's the first thing I teach people is I walk them through adding it to their account. And then from there, it's very easy. You don't really need to explain it too much outside of teaching them about what captioning looks like and image placement on Wikipedia and what images are appropriate. But I've it's it's, we've made it very easy to add it to your account. If you look at the page on Meta, we have step-by-step -step instructions for how to add it, and we've shortened the code. And you, like, you'll click the link, it will take you to your own global page. You paste it in and save it, and that's it. There's no extra. I'm sorry. So that's something we're talking about still. Yeah, you're right that adding a user script isn't the easiest thing, especially for new users. Um, we would eventually like this to be a gadget, which I think is up to every project to kind of decide when they want to enable. Um, that's not something we've pursued yet, but it's something we would like to do. Um, we've also try to experiment with how we can do this without it being a JavaScript script. Like, for example, can we have a Lua function, a Lua template that does these queries and embeds the images in an article so you can actually just add a template to display these images? Um, but there is a limitation that Scribuntu, the Lua library, they don't have um, uh, structured data integration yet, so we don't have Sorry? Oh yeah, maybe wiki functions. Yeah, so ho hopefully down the line there'll be more opportunities for us to kind of build these tools without requiring opt-in JavaScript. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, so we have um, we've been running ESA tool, uh, which was part of the structured data um, application in the first place, um, or grouping or whatever it is, and um, it sounds like it would be like the perfect follow-on. And I wondered if you guys we run we run campaigns through the ESA tool, and I wonder if you run campaigns as well in a similar way, like you get, encourage people to, you know, groups or whatever to focus on certain categories or stuff or? Uh, yeah, no, we haven't run campaigns ourselves, but we have spoken to people who organize campaigns and they have used View It for their users. Um, there's that Wikipedia pages wanting photos campaign that happens on a lot of Wikipedias. They utilize this tool a lot. Um, and there have been other, some, some other focused events and edit thons that I've used it as well. But you're right, that campaigns are a great opportunity for this. I also used it for, we did a diversifying STEM event at University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and that was one of the things we ended up doing, was adding a lot of images through View It to different articles. I, yeah, go ahead. Yes, you. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, a microphone. Okay, so um, there is always a debate on Wikipedia whether articles should have galleries or not. Um, so one 
usage of this that I would find very interesting is actually replacing the galleries uh, with all the the images available. Mm -hmm. This way the people who want to have the, a lot of images will have them and the rest can, you know, you can even have an empty gallery. Yeah. A so placeholder or something. That was something that we talked a lot about during development and people who love commons did not love us getting rid of galleries in, um, because of you. Uh, that's part of why we still have our Toolforge site is so you can look at categories and stuff like that. And so I agree, it is a great way to have a gallery if you want it or not, but I think, I don't know that we'll see galleries disappear because of it, <laughs> but thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any, does somebody else have a question? Oh. Thanks. I would like to have a question on how localization works. Does it work with translatewiki.net or? Uh, yes, so we do have a little bit of localization. For example, you can change, we localize a text that appears like in the button and some other parts of the tool. Um, we don't use anything fancy like translate wiki yet. Um, we just have on MetaWiki. I believe it's, if you go to our meta page, like view it tool and then slash localization.json. This is just a JSON file that we have our localization in, and anyone can edit that JSON file, add their um, translations for their local languages, um, and then periodically we just pull that JSON into the script and it goes live. Um, so we do have some localization support. Um, and on the meta page, it will, there's a section called localization that has those details. Um, so you can see actually we do have it available in 25 languages, and um, we welcome more translations as well. Um, I don't have a questions. I just want to thank you because this is fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks for saying that. Um, this is actually, I think, getting towards the end of what we wanted to share. We have 160 users. Uh, 120 plus have it enabled globally, so those other 40 people have it only engaged on Wikipedia or on Wikidata, whatever they want to use. Um, people are still localizing it as they want to. I think we just had four like a couple days ago, and we were like, who, how, how did these four people want to <laughs> localize it? Um, and then the coolest thing that we, the last time we did this presentation, or a similar presentation about a year ago, there had only been 500 edits on Wikidata using View It, and now there's been 5,000. So that's uh, very exciting for us. <laughs> but yeah, so. Thank you. Uh, please Thank don't you. hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, if anyone wants to do like an editing campaign with View It, I would be happy to join you virtually or in person and uh, show how to install it and use it. And um, yeah, thank you so much.